Hey everyone and welcome to another devlog update for Prehistoric Kingdom. It is February 28th, it is the devlog number 36 and oh boy what a special one because we finally get to know when the alpha is going to drop and that means when I hopefully will finally be able to uh, yeah get my hands and hooves on and I say maybe because who knows what the baby is doing. Uh, it's, it's around the due date so keep your hooves and hands and fingers crossed that I still get a kind of a few days to play it but you can see it already in the middle of your screen uh, screen here March 19th is the important date uh, for you guys out there who are um, hopefully as much as I am uh, super excited and there are kind of a cool features in there so six animals will be in there I know it's not that much but you know along the way they will keep updating it so you can actually expect more animals to be um, added to it along the way so we have Tyrannosaurus, Edmontosaurus, Lumbiosaurus, we have the Styrocosaurus and we have to oh my god now these were the ones I can do, but Nasutoceratops, I guess that's how you say it, or Nasutoceratops, Nasutoceratops, I guess that's how you would say it, and the Microraptor, including alternative skins and uh, or species, which is pretty cool, and especially for the Mantosaurus, we already know it. We have the multi-level pathfinding. Use modular system to create corridors, platforms, and ramps for your animals to navigate around. This is something you know we all know I'm going to exploit and see what is going to be happening in the game. We've got various behaviors in there already, so animals can engage in a variety of basic behaviors like eating, drinking, grazing, resting, socializing and broadcasting. Pretty cool though, I wonder if they're using OBS for it or not, um, but we'll see about this, sorry. It was too easy. It was lying around. I take I, I take that, okay? Um, some animals will be updated to include absent behaviors shortly after Alpha's release. Pretty cool. So you see, they keep updating it. Um, there will be the terraforming suit and oh my god, I'm starting to I'm starting to sit here and the water is forming in my mouth and I'm like, oh, I give it to me. 19 days still, but we will, we'll do it, okay? Um, so we can carve the terrain. Uh, six signals will raise, lower, smooth, flatten, roughen and erosion. Pretty cool stuff. I wonder still what erosion is. I guess it's something, I, I guess it would be something something that is pretty similar to the um, carving tool but you know you will never, uh, never know before we see it I guess use the brush intensity to create subtle and stylish gradients between textures um, for the paintable biomes pretty cool we have 13 structures to be used we have 250 modular items uh, pretty cool stuff at the beginning uh, we do have path and fences we have saving and loading which is very cool because that's not a given in many alphas uh, I have played some of them did not include this which is um, very important so it gives you a bit of a a bit of a chance to test around so due to more extensive development being required some previously planned features like object wall recoloring and under redo will be unavailable until beta or early access launch which is fine you know we know it's coming we know they plan it um, I mean especially the undo redo is kind of a bit of a pain uh, because I'm so used to it in other games but uh, you know we will get there. I can also play Parkitect. It doesn't feature this, so uh, it will work. Okay, you can. Oh God, look at the beauty over here. Look at this, guys. I, I'm just zooming in. No, I can't zoom into the picture. Whatever. Okay, then we have basic economy in here. Provide supply demand, guest facilities, power demand, basic visitors. So it's actually kind of packed, to be honest, uh, for an alpha, which is pretty, pretty cool. Um, there's a lot of more info here. I, I would love you to read all through this if you're really interested. So you get all of this. You can also see that the alpha backers will actually get this, of course. And also if you get the alpha ranger um, version, you will be able to, which is the one I think I have. Um, and then we will look into that. So. Um, um, and then we will also go into checking uh, some more stuff because they improved the water reflection system over here. Looks pretty neat to me. Looks pretty good. The water looks very good. Um, I, you know, especially compared to the Planet Zoo water, I think this one looks pretty solid. Um, we have some updates on the feathering of the Microraptor, which looks kind of cool. The bump map is a bit uh, improved. A little bit of a glossiness here, but they are pretty small. So this is a very close up image. Um, and it, I think it's kind of looking very neat uh, still. Uh, you can see this. This is devel development focus for the current situation, so animal behavior is in focus and the modular assets. Oh boy, am I excited for that. For the audio team, we have implementation um, and there is the picture to go. This is the this is the one thing we will test out and oh my god, look at all the textures guys. Look at this, there's just, I could go nuts over these screenshots now, I'm, I'm not doing this because of time reasons. but. Oh boy, just look at that. We have all the all the textures down here. Very nice soil pattern.
pattern. There's a bit of a painted stuff. You have this ramp which is going up the end. Montessori is going down there. Um, looks very solid in terms of wayfinding and also the weight transition of the body. And then you can see it's also laying down on top of that little piece by piece build. The rocks down here look fantastic. The foliage looks fantastic. As I said last time already, it looks all a bit more realistic. The poppiness, um, what, what we are used to from the Planet games, is a little bit less in this game, uh, which is tending towards a bit more realism, um, which I like. I'm a fan of this as well. I like both, to be honest, but it's after after Planet Zoo and Planet Coast, I think it's a very welcome change. Um, then we have some uh, cool stuff over here. I'm just going to quickly uh, play that real quick. And let's quickly uh, hear what's going to happen here. That's so cool. I mean, I mean, I mean, just, just look at that, guys. It is looking fantastic. And uh, the, the animations, everything, oh boy, that looks so incredible. We've got some more foliage. Um, we have got the elm and the oak in here. And oh boy, this is getting so much better. You know, there was one thing I was really, really, I think a year or two, year, two ago when I thought of first things about this game, the foliage was the, the thing I was moaning the most about because it looked Honestly, sorry, but it looks kind of crappy. But now the foliage, it likes a completely 180 degree turn. It's just, it, it, look at this picture. It looks fantastic, super realistic. Uh, it looks lush, it looks good. It looks, I don't know, really great stuff. And um, speaking of great stuff, this is the textures for the modular building so far. Um, I think I'm not a big fan of this down here to the left hand side. This could look very repetitive after a while, but the other ones are boss. The other ones are, Amazing! I love the modern style. Um, I would love to love to see in the future some more older stuff. You know, a bit more crackled down, a bit more weathered. That would be awesome. Um, but for now, this looks this looks really cool. Especially the concrete one will obviously be something I am going to do a lot with. And then we have um, the glass is not shown yet, by the way, but it's gonna come. Uh, we also have some roof patterns, also pretty cool with the different angles in here. We have got the high beds. I'm not gonna talk too much about it for everyone who is watching Planet Zoo. We can skip over that. It's just yeah, it's great. It's amazing. By the way, speaking of great, look at the ivy. Look at that ivy. Oh, gosh. It's just... Also, I wonder if this is like a decal because it's looking so good on this bottom part over here. Looking a little bit too good, to be honest, to be to be a piece about who am I to judge, you know? Sometimes uh, if there is a creative and a good builder on it, it always looks like that. Then we have the fences, which uh, work over the fence tool is the modern glass. By the way, can we just can we just quickly say that this transition in the in the middle here Look, look how great that looks. The, ah, God, you can, you can really hear me geek out here because I am geeking out about this game. This is, with every update I see, with every single thing I see, it's getting better and better and better. And if, if it only holds up 10% to what we've seen, it's going to be amazing already. But I'm quite sure they hold up more to it. See here, we have another IV piece. And I think, yeah, maybe it is a piece, but it, it obviously takes a lot of inspiration from how the Planet Zoo pieces are laid out. But it just looks fantastic, doesn't it? I mean, look at the concrete. I love the concrete texturing. I I love everything. I, I just I don't know if this is wait. Let me scroll up. No, it's still it, I, okay. It's part okay. It's part of the glass fencing here down there. I thought it was maybe one piece, but definitely the stones and the little plants over here are a piece. Here we can see also one of the path textures. It's just incredible. And then news roundup. Um, we also have the Brachiosaurus new image over here. Um, it's coming with early access, so it's not in the alpha though, but with early access, looking fantastic if you ask me. Um, we have a community spotlight. We don't want to skip over that because this is this is something you can see what we will be capable of doing Because some people already have the initial alpha. They are not allowed to share any screenshots or gameplay But um, for these showcases uh, they have like I think uh, you know I guess they have a hidden place to share the stuff I guess uh, because they paid insane amounts of money and so they absolutely deserve us um, Which was ridiculous high amount of money, but if you back them for this they definitely deserve all these kind of treats not gonna lie um it's uh, an insane support they gave, and I mean, just, just take that. Just, just take a breath. 
take a look at that. Doesn't that look absolutely fantastic? Dino Man seems to be all about it. Uh, Dino Bob, Dino Man, Dino whatever. And just look at the look at the textures and stuff. This is created by B Bodhi. Bodhi, not Beauty. But anyways, this has been it, guys, for today's update. And we actually reach exactly the 10 minutes mark. Wow, okay. Um, I would definitely suggest that you guys go through it because there's just so much to see in here. Um, I really recommend to watch this thing uh, because... Oh boy, it's going to be amazing. It is going to be amazing. And I can't wait for March 19th. Uh, but yeah, again, keep your hands and arms and everything crossed that the baby is waiting a little bit longer uh, and waits to its actual due date. Then at least I have one week to at least do a little bit of uh, fun stuff with this. Um, other than that, I keep you posted as soon as we have more infos. Uh, please, guys, if you haven't subscribed and you are here for some more uh, content also around Planet uh, Coaster, Planet Zoo, or, of course, Prehistoric Kingdom in the future, make sure to subscribe to this channel um, and you know leave a nice little comment uh, what you think of prehistoric kingdom so far what are you most excited for and which animal or which dino or which creature are you most excited for to see in this game and if not included in the roster yet which ones do you want to see for the future many questions i hope you guys enjoyed it have a good good evening and goodbye everyone